What's up everyone, it's Lars Wolf, and this is the Multipurpose Racer 2.0 sitting here. And uh, as you can see, I wanted to bring you guys in and uh, start the installation of the Garrett G25 550. Um, and kind of just uh, show you around and do this type of thing. So without further ado, everything is on. The manifold's bolted in, the heat shields are bolted in. Uh, I have test fits, the downpipe, got the heat wrap on the downpipe. Uh, test fit my heat shield that goes behind it and the turbo blanket. Uh, everything seems to be fitting okay. Uh, now I'm just going to go on the final assembly process. So I wanted to bring you guys with me. So without further ado, let's bring on the turbo. So I found it uh, to be a whole lot easier to bolt the hot side to the manifold. and then the manifold uh, to the block. And then slip the cold side in the center section in afterwards. Uh, and But you just gotta be really careful not to hit anything or nick anything. So um, yeah, that's just how I'm gonna do it. Just got to be really slow and methodical with what you're doing and everything will be fine. I got the V-band in place. I'm just using a standard nut for this time being on this just to keep everything in place so there's a little bit of adjustment to the turbo as we put it together because I found that the oil return lines line needs some needs the center section to move to, to install it. It's just, that's the issue with this car is the packaging is so tight that um, it just takes a lot of understanding on how things work to, to make it work for you. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on plugging away. So here we go. Well, there it is, everyone. After a couple of weeks of late nights, there is the Garrett G25 550 Turbo installed on the custom log manifold I built, and we're basically ready to go. So join me next time when we prime the turbo with oil and we start this sucker. As always, everyone, hit that subscribe button, like, follow, share. It helps me out tremendously. We'll see you guys at the racetrack. Take care.